How's it going? Today's arm day, just got to the gym. Uh, for this arm workout, when I take you through it, before I do a certain exercise, I'm gonna talk about why I like to do it. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna like that better than you know me just doing the workouts with music played over it, over it, or you want to see you know what I'm gonna do today and talk more about like why I like to do it, why I think it works best for me. Um, so let me know after the workout if you liked that or not, and uh, you know I'd like to hear feedback with that. Um, waiting for Cassie right now. She's on her way to the gym. I think she's hitting shoulders today. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in there. First workout we're doing right here is going to be close grip bench. Uh, I like to start my workout with something heavy, like I would say. Uh, close grip bench really gets to overload your triceps. Um, so I'm going to try to work out something heavy, probably work up with doubles. Um, so yeah, see how this goes. The darkest ground. The gravity pulls you straight down. Earth from a bird's eye view. Should go feathers and see this too. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. Alright, we're starting to get up pretty heavy for me, so from here on out, I'm gonna start working up on doubles. I'm gonna see how high I can get with doubles. Uh, right now, we have uh, 225 in the bar. Um, also, I hope the music's not too loud and you can still hear me. Hit 265 for one. I wanted to double, but I'll just take the single today, seeing that I'm sick and haven't been feeling that well. I'm going to back down to 225 now and uh, hit it for a few sets. When you want to get off that darkest ground. Just finished close grip. Uh, I'm going to move on to biceps now. I like to do a tricep movement and bicep movement and just keep switching it up uh, throughout the workout. I'm going to do some just regular standing bicep curls, you know, the twist, so it hits both my forearm and bicep. I'm um, also going to start biceps off something heavy, so I'm going to work up just some heavy dumbbells, I hope. Um, let's probably do about four sets of that. You should go feathers and see this too. I'm gonna stick with the 50s. It's all I got eight with them. I don't wanna go too much heavier than I, I don't wanna throw my body into it. A lot of people that do bicep curls and they work up to heavy weight will end up using like their front delt to you know swing it up. Um, you wanna keep a lot of attention on the biceps, so once you find a relatively heavy enough weight where your form's not breaking down, I like to stick with that weight. So I'm probably gonna do the 50s for three to four sets of eight and then move on to really tricep movement. Skull crushers now. I'm gonna do some higher reps with these ones. Uh, anywhere between 10 to 15. Get some blood into the triceps. Uh, pretty simple tricep workout. I know a lot of people like doing these. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably do about four to four to five sets of these.
wasted two sets of about, I think it was like 12 to 15 right there. Um, now I'm going to do the last two sets of a drop set. Uh, probably go, try to get 12 reps of the first one, and then at least 15 on the last, uh, last weight. So two sets of those, and then on to a bicep movement. Bicep movement here, it's gonna be a superset. I'm gonna start with uh, standing preacher curls and then superset that with reverse preacher curls. So it's gonna be a last bicep movement and then I'm gonna do uh, one more tricep movement, it's gonna be also a superset. And I'll let you guys know what that is after I do this. Something I forgot to add uh, about that superset I did. Um, for those reverse curls, I don't know if you can see in the video very well, but I keep my thumb over, like over like this, and I'm gripping the reverse curls. It really makes you squeeze your forearm to grip that. Um, I like doing that, it's a little tip I got for you guys for those. I did four sets of those. Uh, kept them over 10, tried to keep them over 10 reps. Uh, you know, really good blood into the muscle. The last tricep move I'm gonna do is gonna be uh, four sets of you know superset like I just do with biceps. It's going to be the rope push down supersetted with uh, close grip push ups, and that'll conclude arm day. And I'll see you guys in the car. Talk about the work I just did and uh, a little bit of other stuff I want to talk about. Arm day is over. I uh, had a pretty good arm workout. Uh, as you guys saw, I talked throughout it. I personally, you know, enjoy doing that. It's something different for me. Uh, I get to tell you what I'm doing before I actually do it. But if you guys didn't like that, you know, just let me know because I'll, you know, go back to what I was doing before, playing the music throughout, and just talking before and after the workout. Um, oh yeah, also something I want to talk about is I'm gonna start doing like daily, you know, daily eating videos because I've I've had some people ask me, you know, what's what's in your diet? What do you eat? Um, so I think videos like that are pretty informative to what I like to eat. Um, so now I gotta go home, do some homework before work. Uh, I've had a lot of homework this week for some reason. Um, so you're gonna see me probably again in tomorrow's video. Probably stop videotaping for today because I'm gonna be busy, you know, with work and homework. Um, you know, I like doing the back-to-back -back videos, uh, you know, workout-wise doesn't push out as many videos a week but I think you know having you know three or four videos a week of you know actual good content is better than you know putting a video every day of just one workout um, so you guys are gonna see me tomorrow I want to thank you for you know watching today's video uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow for a workout yet so you're gonna see that obviously um, so yeah hope you guys have a good one
So presses aren't feeling the best today. Only got the hundreds for four. Uh, last time gone for five. I think it's whole head cold's really killing my uh, strength, but I want to use that as an excuse. Um, decided I'm just gonna you know hit some volume today instead. Back down to the 80s and then to 70s. Hit them for 10 to 12 reps each. Um, for rest of this workout now, I'm gonna you know stick, try to stick between the 12 and 15 rep range. You know with the side raises, all those kind of raises. Um, gonna probably do some standing barbell uh, military. Keep those higher reps too, like I said. Um, so next, I'm gonna hit some uh, you know basic side raises. Um, like I said, 12 to 15 rep range. Uh, do some drop sets. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Just finished those side raises. Uh, felt pretty good. Um, if you guys are wondering where I'm going in between each set, it's just outside the gym. It's so nice out today, you know. It's nice coming out here in between each set. Um, next, I'm gonna hit some Arnold's. I'm gonna do four sets of those. Uh, each set's gonna be a drop set. That's uh, gonna be pretty difficult, but you know, it's really gonna force blood into the muscle, uh, get a nice pump from these. So uh, let's get to it. Right, done with those Arnold's. They're a little harder than I thought they were gonna be. Um, I videotaped the last set so I could just show you uh, how hard, you know, the weight I picked, how hard it's gonna be for your last set. Um, didn't get too many reps with it. So now I'm gonna move on to some uh, reverse, like reverse flies at my rear delts. Uh, they have a machine here I really like. If you've seen it in other videos, I'm sure. Um, so I'm probably gonna do anywhere from four to six sets of these. Uh, first two sets are gonna be, you know, normal sets, hitting just. 12 to 15 reps, and then the last few sets, I'm gonna do drop sets. Uh, really liking the drop sets lately, so let's get to it. Last shoulder exercise I'm going to do here is uh, something I've very, never done before. It's going to be a standing uh, military press with a barbell. I'm going to do a total of 100 reps uh, as quick as I can. So, you know, whether it's 10 sets of 10 with like 30 to a minute of rest in between. Um, the goal here is to, you know, complete the 100 reps uh, as quick as you can. I'm not sure what weight I'm going to use yet, but uh, I think it's going to be a good shoulder finish for today. And then after this, I'm going to hit some abs, and then, you know, I'm going to call that a day. Done the shoulder workout. Uh, that 100 reps at the end got me pretty good. Um, a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, still really good, you know, something different. I think exercises like that, you know, where you do something that you're not used to, like the 100 reps, I think it really shocks your muscles, you know, forces them to grow. Um, I think it's smart to, you know, whatever muscle group, let's say it'd be like a back day, do like 10 sets of 10, lat pull downs to end a, end a workout with. I think stuff like that's really good to you know shock the muscle like I said um, another thing I want to talk about was you know in the beginning where you know I didn't I got the hundreds for only four I was hoping for a PR but I actually got one rep less than I did last time um, 
you can't let stuff like that, you know, bother you. Some days, you know, some days you're not gonna be strong, strong as you'd like to be, and other days you're gonna be a lot stronger than, you know, than you hope to be. Um, stuff like that, you just have to, you know, take day by day. Uh, like today, you know, I realized I wasn't feeling very strong, so I went into, you know, doing higher rep stuff where my body did react pretty good to that today. So you can't beat yourself up too much when you're not always hitting PRs. Um, especially when you're a natural athlete, it's it's tough, you know, getting workout to workout PR because, you know, you have to push yourself that much harder when you are natural to hit PRs each workout. Um, other than that, I think I'm just going to go home. I have to work again tonight. Work's been pretty busy this week, so I've been going in a lot. Um, so I'm going to end the video here. Once again, I want to say thank you. I really appreciate, you know, coming out watching these videos. It means a lot to me. Um, so next video i think i'm gonna do a full day of eating i'm not sure yet though so uh yeah hope you guys have a good one